Hi and welcome to my math class. Today we're going to discuss correlation. Now correlation is actually how is the data linked? Are they all together? Are they clustered? Are they more spread out? Is it a positive gradient? Is it a negative gradient? So when you're doing correlation, correlation has nothing to do with the line of regression. The only sense that it does help is if you look at the gradient, you can say, okay, listen, it's a positive gradient or it's a negative gradient. But the strength of it lies in the correlation. Now, the sign on your calculator, if you go and you press shift 1 and you press number 5 for regression, you'll see there's an A, a B, and an R. Now, R is what they're referring to in reference to the regression. Now, when R is equal to 1, then this is a perfect positive linear equation. It's perfect. Can you see it's making like a perfect line? Okay, and we've got that it's a perfect. We know that it's positive because you can see it's a positive gradient. Remember, a positive gradient runs like that. So we know this is a positive gradient. Okay, so how do we describe it? We say it's a perfect positive linear why linear? Because we know these are linear graphs association. So it's perfect because you can see even if I draw a line, I'm most likely going to pass through all of them. So it's a perfect positively linear association. Now if we were going to describe this one, this one here, R is going to equal to negative 1. And what would it be? It's also perfect because if I had to draw the line, it would go quite perfectly down. So it's perfect, but it's negative linear, meaning it's a straight line, association. If you look at the next one, now, if you look at the dots, they are quite close to each other. Number one, R will be greater than zero but it will be very close to 1. So when we're saying very close to 1, we're talking of like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.7. So it's very close to 1. Basically, if we round off, if we're talking of rounding off, it would tend to round off to 1. So we're looking at like anything between, you can say 0 0.9, and in the range of 0 0.7. So if we say 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, they're very, very close. The R is greater than 0, so obviously we know it's positive. So we know it's a positive, right? Secondly, we're going to say that it is a strong positive. Why is it strong positive? Now we know it's positive because of the way it's running. It's a positive gradient. So remember, a tick is a perfect example of a positive gradient and if you look this is running in the same slope so we know it's a positive gradient so number one we know it's positive next we're going to say it's quite strong it's quite strong you know a little more effort and then these lines will all be in check so we're going to say it's strongly positive linear why linear again because we know that it is a straight line association Now the next one is a negative. So obviously R is going to be less than 0, but it's going to be very close to negative 1. So if it's very close to negative 1, what are we going to say? Number 1, we, go, we know it's a negative gradient. Okay? Then we're going to say it's strongly negative. Why? Because a little effort and all these will be in check. So it's strongly negative. And then it's linear and association. Now what are we looking here at? We're looking at minus 0, 0,9, minus 0, 0,6 uh, mistake. We're looking at minus 0, 0,9 to around minus 0, 0,7 you can say. Okay, So that's when we're going to say, okay, listen, it's strongly negative. It's a linear association, but it's strongly negative. Now these ones we can see that it's going down, it's a negative, and we can see that this one is going up, it's a positive. So, 
we'll know that listen this is going to be r is definitely less than 0 but what we're going to notice about this r is that this r is less than 0 but it is very far it is not close to 1 so it is not close to negative 1 so how do we describe this one then we're going to say it's negative right so we know it's negative it is not a strong it's a moderate moderate negative can you see because it's not as strong for me to get them all in line in check I'd have to make a far more effort than I would have had to to make these ones in check so even though it is negative it's moderately negative so we're looking at like minus 0 comma 4 0 comma 3 to like negative 0 comma 5 0 comma 6 so that's what we're more or less looking at and if we take the next one r is going to be greater than 0 but it is not close to 1 so how are we going to describe this we know it's positive but it's moderate so we're going to say this is moderate positive association right when we're talking of this we're talking of around 0 0.3 to like 0 0.6 and then if we have one that lies between let's say the negative 0 comma 2 to just before the 0 or we can say from 0 0.2 to the 0 then we're going to call this one a weak association now if r is equal to 0 like they're so random there's no really you can't decide what it is then this is called no association now if you look at the diagram you can quite figure it out without really going to the information that I, I wrote here it's if you look at it you know if it's all close and tight okay I know this is going to happen but R will give you a perfect indication so if they tell you the table below is obtained from a coffee shop comment on the correlation without drawing the scatter plot what are we going to do this year you're going to use your calculator so you're going to go mode 2 and then we're going to number 2 remember we're looking at the a plus BX button then you're going to fill in your data keeping in mind that the first column is always X and the second column is always Y so you go 5 equals to 12 equals to 24 equals to 30 equal 22 equal 9 equal 17 equal 30 equal 13 equal 20 equal 38 equals it counted 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so we go up now And then we go to our right and we go 78 equals 68 equals 46 equals 88 equals 51 equals 74 equals 61 equals 32 equals 60 equals 54 equals 20 equal. Then you press AC shift 1. What are we doing? Number 5 which is regression. And what are we looking for? Number 3 which is R. So R is equal to minus 0 comma 63 now if we remembered minus 0 comma 639 which means we can round it off to minus 0 comma 64 then we know okay it's definitely a negative right then if you see minus 0 comma 63 64 we can say listen that is it's not strong so it's more or less like moderate it's between moderate and strong so we're going to go for moderate so what we're going to say it's negative moderate association A negatively moderate association now if you look at the graph you will see that it is quite negative it's definitely negative it is moderately association if you had just randomly looked at it without the outliner you could have said, it, said it's a strong association but this one had obviously changed its description so that's why it is good to look at the R and to remember that the outliners will affect your answer thank you for watching